Okay, so let's solve this problem. So given p of x equals x plus 1 over 6, where x is equal to 0, 1, and 2, then find the following. So for p of x equals 2, from this equation, but x is equal to 2, so this becomes 2 plus 1 over 6, then simplify, so this 2 plus 1, that's 3 over 6, then we need to reduce, so 3 over 6 divisible by 3, so this is 1 over 2. So therefore, p of x equals 2 is equal to 1 half. Then for this given, so p of x greater than or equal to 1. So since equal to 1, so start with p of x equals 1 from this equation, but x is equal to 1. So we have 1 plus 1 over 6. Then simplify, so 1 plus 1 is 2 over 6. So in this case, there's no need to reduce this fraction. Then we have now x greater than 1. So for x greater than 1, so x is equal to 2 because 2 is greater than 1. So from this equation, x is 2 plus 1 over 6, then simplify, so 2 plus 1, that's 3, over 6. Then this time, we need to add these two fractions to find this probability of x greater than or equal to 1. So we have 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6. So this is why we're not reducing these two fractions to have the same denominators because if we're adding the same denominators, just copy the denominator and add the numerators. So 2 plus 3, that's 5. So therefore, this P of X greater than or equal to 1 is equal to 5 over 6. Then for this given, so p of x less than or equal to 1. So since equal to 1, so start with p of x equals 1. So from this equation, then x is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1, then over 6, then simplify. So that's 2 over 6. Then for x less than 1, so x is equal to 0 because 0 is less than 1. So x is 0, then plus 1 over 6, then simplify, so this is 1 over 6. Then add these two fractions, so we have 2 over 6 plus 1 over 6. So the same denominators, so just copy, then add these numerators, so 2 plus 1, that's 3. Then for the final answer, we need to reduce these fractions, so 3 over 6 divisible by 3, so that's 1 over 2. So the probability for x less than or equal to 1 is 1 over 2.